Poker fans, Michael here. I've been talking about getting struck by lightning, and that was thunder. Still thunder. Kind of freaking out a bit. Welcome to the fourth installment of Strange Pokemon Physics. I've taken three consecutive years of physics courses, because apparently Rice is too good for my AP credit or whatever. And due to that, I've accumulated a lot of physics knowledge, and that knowledge includes electricity. So after some suggestions from you guys, I decided to focus this week's episode on a Pokemon we're all familiar with. Raichu. I'm not gonna write you a love song! Raichu is a pure electric type introduced in the first generation. It evolves from the famous Pikachu by using a Thunderstone, and several of its Pokedex entries state that it can let loose electrical bursts of 100,000 volts. 100,000 volts, huh? Sounds like quite a bit. So could a shock from Raichu kill you? First, we need a bit of background. Electricity is electrons, small negatively charged particles traveling through some medium, whether it be wires, air, or a person. Electrons have negative charge, where charge is the quantity responsible for electrical phenomena. Loose definition, I know. Some science is like that. Now before I go on, I first need to define three quantities we'll be talking about. Voltage, current, and resistance. Voltage is the amount of energy per charge, and its units are joules per coulomb, or volts. If you're not sure what energy is, I explained it in my Charizard SPP, so check that video out. Current is how much charge flows past a certain point in a given amount of time. The units are coulombs per second, or amperes, amps as I'll call them. And lastly, resistance is how much something resists electricity flowing through it, and its units are ohms. These three quantities are related by Ohm's law, which is V equals IR. V is the voltage, I is the current, and R is the resistance. But how does electricity kill you? Well, there's lots of ways, but we're going to focus specifically on being struck by lightning, since that would be the method that Raichu would kill you and not you sticking your finger into a wall socket. So what happens when you get struck by lightning? I'll give you a hint, you don't turn into the Flash. Although that would be awesome. The Flash! In a direct strike situation, where the bolt hits you directly, hence the name, the electricity enters your body from wherever it strikes you, travels through, screws a lot of stuff up along the way, and finally exits your body, usually out through your foot into the ground. Depending on what path the bolt takes through your body, it could do everything from cause brain damage by literally cooking your brain cells, paralyze your lungs so that you're unable to breathe, burn you severely at the entrance and exit locations and anywhere you have metal touching your body, and cause cardiac arrest. Normally, the human body is fairly good at resisting electricity, especially the skin. Human skin can have a resistance of up to 100,000 ohms, but this number goes down if the skin is damaged or wet. However, voltages over 600 volts pack enough energy to fry your skin, a process called dielectric breakdown, and this allows the electricity to flow through your body with a resistance of only around 500 ohms. Lightning bolts pack around 300,000 volts, so using Ohm's law, we can calculate that the current going through your body is 600 amps, which is a massive, MASSIVE amount! Now while lightning strikes can do serious damage, most victims actually survive. Raichu's shock would only be one third the voltage, so if Raichu hit you with a shock as quick as a lightning bolt, you'd actually have a fairly decent chance to survive. Although you may suffer from dementia or anxiety or depression down the road like many down the road due to the neural damage like many lightning strike victims do. But one of the main reasons why lightning strikes aren't always fatal is their extremely short duration, only around 30 microseconds. The lightning bolt just doesn't have enough time to do as much damage as we'd think it would. But Raichu does. If Raichu could sustain and continuously pump electricity into your body, he could kill you quite easily. The electricity could paralyze your lungs and stop your heart, but the extremely high temperatures would likely fry you before lack of oxygen to your brain could finish you off. According to Ohm's law, that's 200 amps coursing through your body, where organ damage can occur at only two. So yes, Raichu could very easily kill you. So there we have it, another example of how absurdly dangerous the Pokemon world is. What did you think of this video? Did you learn something? What other Pokemon do you want to see on SPP? Let me know in the comments below! And if you liked this video, hit like and subscribe for more! Also, one more thing, my buddy TrueGreen7 made two videos about the origins of the starter Pokemon, so you should definitely check those out because they're super well done. Alright, that's all I have for now. So until next time, Pokefans, gotta catch them all!